three, two, one. Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever wondered why Christmas crackers go? Ah! <laughs> oh, ooh, little hat. Hey, it's Christmas. And what is Christmas without a tiny explosive on your dining room table? Because that's what this is. It's an actual explosive. A cracker is Christmas science in action. And in this video, I'm going to get to the bottom of where these come from and find out what makes them go. You guessed it. Bang! Oh, what did I get? Ooh, it's a little frog. Have you ever seen one of these? Because if you're not from the UK, it's possible that you haven't. Christmas crackers usually dress our Christmas dinner tables and we pull them with friends and family before we start to eat. They're basically pretty tubes that go bang and hiding inside are three goodies if you're lucky. But we're going to dissect this Christmas cracker and open it the wrong way to find out what's inside. So I'm going to start by just snipping these little bits of ribbon. And now let's open it up. Perfect, exactly what I was hoping we would find. Okay, so we have ourselves a paper crown, first and foremost. Um, we've also got ourselves a little toy. I. <laughs> I'll be honest, they're not always that great. I think this is a, a magnifying key ring, maybe? And then we have a joke, right, you ready? What do snowmen wear on their heads? Ice caps. Yeah, that's pretty bad, but it's okay because Yoto's Christmas Crackers audio card has loads of much better Christmas cracker jokes. We're gonna get to this later because first, I want to show you this bit inside a cracker. It's called the cracker snap. This is our cracker snap. And if you look carefully, you can see it's made of two long, thin strips of cardboard that are taped together in the middle, just overlapping slightly. Now, if you wanna take a closer look at a cracker snap at home, then make sure you do this bit with a grown up. If I'm careful, I can separate these two bits of cracker snap and show you what's beneath that tape. Under the tape is where we find our explosive. It's a chemical called silver fulminate. Now, silver fulminate is so sensitive that if I had a huge pile of it right here and I dropped something as light as a feather on top of that pile, the whole lot would go kaboom. But luckily, it's perfectly safe in really tiny amounts. But it's so small, I'm actually going to show you with a microscope. Whoa! Ha <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. Can you see that little patch of silvery powder? Well, that is our explosive, the silver fulminate. But that's not all. We also have on the other side of the strip of paper, we can see this dark patch. Now that is actually a square of sandpaper. It's just really, really tiny. You can see here it's rough and bumpy. Inside the cracker snap, the explosive silver fulminate and the patch of sandpaper overlap like this. So when the cracker is pulled apart, the two materials slide over each other. This causes something called friction and it's the friction that creates a small explosion. Bang! So if I want to make this go bang, then all I need to do is rub the sandpaper over that explosive. Shall we give it a go? Okay. Here we are. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> that was so loud. And look, if I take a peek using the microscope, it's completely gone. Can you see it? The silver fulminate chemical has burnt away. It literally exploded thanks to friction. But what is friction? Well, friction is a force that we get when two surfaces or materials try to slide over each other. And the rougher or bumpier a material is, the more friction it's likely to create. So if you imagine a sleigh trying to slide down a bumpy gravelly hill, that's going to create a lot more friction than a sleigh that's gliding down a snowy icy one with lots of ease. 
Now, the more friction you get between two surfaces, the more heat that is generated. And it was the heat that we got from the friction between the two materials in our cracker snap that made our explosive go bang. You can actually get some pretty decent stuff inside Christmas crackers. Cookie cutter, that's pretty good. What have we got in this one? Hey, a slinky. The jokes inside though, well, um, if I'm honest with you, they're not always that good. Personally, I'd rather stick with Yoto's Christmas Crackers audio card because there's not just one joke in here. There's 100. Right, let's pop it in my Yoto player and see if we can find our favourite joke. What did Santa name his pet frog? I don't know. Mistletoad. Oh. <laughs> what do you call a cat who works for Santa? Santa Claus. Uh. <laughs> what do you get? when you cross a duck with Santa. A Christmas quacker. <laughs> <laughs> Where does Santa stay on vacation? At a ho, ho, hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Yoto has loads of amazing audio designed especially for kids, but the fun doesn't stop at jokes because there are thousands of stories, songs, activities, fascinating facts for your ears to discover. So if your grown up would like to know more, then stick around till the end of the video because I have a special Christmas discount code just for them. Thank you very much, Yoto. Now, where were we? Why do we even have tiny explosives at Christmas in the first place? Who was it that came up with this idea? Well, it all started with this one guy. Meet Tom Smith, a Victorian sweet shop owner. On a trip to Paris, ooh la la, he discovered bonbons, sugared almonds wrapped in tissue paper. He bought the popular treats back to London with a fun twist, little messages hidden inside. Then at one night by the fire, the crackling sparks gave him an idea. What if his bonbons cracked too? He visited a fireworks company and made tiny explosive snaps to hide inside the sweet wrappers. He called them bangs of expectation and the first Christmas crackers were born. They were such a hit that even the royal family wanted them. And that is how the first Christmas cracker or bang of expectation was born. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much to Yoto for their hilarious Christmas cracker jokes. I think the Yoto player is wonderful and there is so much amazing audio to listen to when you're at home with one like this or if you're out and about, the Yoto Mini is a wonderful option. If there are any grown-ups watching, you can head to the website yotoplay.com for more information. Here you'll discover a world of exciting audio from stories to songs, science, all designed especially for curious kids. And I have a special Christmas discount for you. Just use my code cc maddy 10 Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel for more videos and have a very curious Christmas! <laughs> what was it? What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? A tiny plastic heart necklace thing. Yay! <laughs> the jokes were better, right? <laughs>